you're anything like me, then perhaps you've got a few different Google accounts. When you have many accounts, you can encounter some problems. So today we're going to be looking at how to manage multiple Google accounts. My name is Daniel Ball and I'm the IT trainer at the Lee Academies Trust. So the best way to manage Google accounts is through Google Chrome. And when we're doing so, what we're going to do is sign actually into Chrome browsers rather than just into accounts. What this means is that the Chrome browser holds our account information so that when we open it, we automatically have access to that account. Obviously, when doing this, one thing you need to be careful of is other people accessing your information. So only do this on devices that are otherwise password protected so that other people can't access it easily. So when you're in Google Chrome, the first thing you have to do, there'll be a little icon in the top right hand corner. And if you've never signed into Google Chrome before, you can click on that and then choose to manage people. When you're in manage people, you can choose to add additional people to this device. When you add a person, you can add just some kind of nickname. So I'm going to put in my training account as an additional account. You can choose a little icon or GIF, but actually normally what will happen is when it draws it through, it will draw through your profile picture as the icon. So I could just put something in for now. So I'm going to add that in. And what that will then do is open up a new Chrome browser that it's going to ask me to sign into the Chrome browser. The first thing I have to do is turn on sync. What this means is that it will connect with the Chrome browser if it's signed in on other devices as well. So that as I add bookmarks and things like that, they synchronize with each other. So if I turn on sync, and then it will ask me for my account information. So I'm going to put in the IT trainer at latrust.org.uk. Click next, then my password. And then it will open up a new account. It will ask me if I want to link data, and that's the whole part of synchronizing this to other devices that I might have this browser signed in. So I'm going to link data. Then I'm just going to turn on sync as well. So what does this mean? Practically what it means is, as you can see there, it's just brought in all my bookmarks that are for this account. But then what I can do is I can jump to different Google Chrome browsers. So if I click on this, it will open up my other Google Chrome browser. Why is this necessary? It's necessary because if I'm just using the one browser like this and then I try and open up a new browser and I might go into Gmail for example and try and sign into another account, Google Chrome can then get confused which account I'm trying to use. Now when using email this might not matter but when you're using Google Drive for example this will really matter. If you're trying to open up a document Chrome might think you're trying to open up with an account that doesn't have access to that document and it would get confused. If you have been using multiple accounts on the same browser, then what you'll have to do is remove the old accounts from that browser. So you do this by clicking on the icon, clicking on the account that you want to remove. Now here I get the option to remove. Um, I've seen it done before when you might get a list of accounts on your device and at the bottom there's an option that says remove account. If you click on that and just remove the account. So here I can remove that and do that. The other thing you might have to do is clear the cache in your settings. If you click on the three dots in the top right hand corner, go into settings, you can just type in cache here, C-A-C-H-E, scroll to the bottom, clear browsing history, and you can clear the browsing history or cached images and files. So if I clear this, it will just make sure that it's not going to get confused with the different accounts. So just to remind you that once you've done this, it's simple, I'm going to close down my browsers. And so then if I open up a Chrome browser, what you'll notice is you'll have different Chrome browsers maybe appear as shortcuts. So I can open up a Chrome browser and it's automatically logged into my account. I can see that here by my image there. So if I went to my Gmail, it would automatically be signed in. But then if I want to open up a different account, I can click on that different account and it will automatically be signed in to that account. I really hope you enjoyed this video and if you did there are a few things you can do. First of all, subscribe to the channel. Second, hit the like button. Third, write in the comments 
and thought to share the video with others. We also have many more videos on our training channel, so do check that out.